Hi, my name is Mary Kay Waldvogel and I'm telling my quilt story at the McKinney Center in Jonesboro, Tennessee. Today is Saturday, May 13th, 2023. I am from Missouri. My husband is from Missouri. His name is Jerry Ledbetter. His mother is Virginia Ledbetter. And Virginia was quite a quilt maker. Still, well, she's 98 and a half right now and has just went into a nursing home. So she really is frustrated even that she can't be making quilts, but she was making quilts until a year or two ago. She made a quilt with me in Thanksgiving. So that was six months ago. And it was all, she does all hand quilting. So anyway, let me uh, step back and talk about this particular quilt. In what, 1990, I joined the board of the Alliance for American Quilts, even before these people were on the staff. And we were thrilled when they all joined. And they opened an office in Asheville. And I remember there was an open house at the building in Asheville. And I live in Knoxville, so it was a two hour drive. I was just thrilled. I, you know, bored person, things were, were moving forward. And she, had, she gave me a number of quilts. I, and again, it was an ish, a time where I thinking, uh, well, I'm not that interested in that quilt or even documenting them. But here's a, and another thing, she, she loved making quilts and I would give the quilts, the baby size quilts to my friends who were having babies. So a lot of people have Virginia Ledbetter quilts all over that are, and they know it. They know where these have come from. They know her, they may never have met her. So I had this one. Again, it seemed like it, it, she made it as a, a child size quilt, but look how close it resembled the, um, the, the proposed logo of the Alliance for American Quilts. So I remember that afternoon taking it there. We were getting all the things ready to, to set out for the open house. And there were, it was in a, a little gallery space in the building. There were quite a few people and we were excited about it. It was Asheville and I, I took this. And I, you, I think Amy was there. If it wasn't Amy, it was, some, and we decided to put it out on the table. It was just perfect at, at the end, the, uh, with the name tags. And I sent her pictures of it, Virginia. I sent Virginia pictures of it. We all just thought it was the coolest thing. So jump forward 30 years, at least 25 years. And I have her quilts in that same cedar chest where my mother's quilt was and I decided this past summer to pull them all out and document them and so and it meant keeping a list with the dates and things like that every one of her quilts has her name on the back beginning in about 1988 uh, quite a few of her quilts were from that era and I was thinking, what happened to the one at the Alliance? I hadn't seen it for a long time. And so I mentioned it to Amy at this last quilt day, and she said, oh, let me go look for it. So here it is. And it's all hand done. It's, she, this is typical of what she, she likes to get things done fast. She finishes them uh, pretty simply, and she does all hand quilting, so. And bless her soul, she's still with us. Thank you.